Hello you guys, this is Erica the Technology Nerd who likes to film stuff here with the AT&T version of the HTC One X. And basically what I'm do doing today is a preview video of what I would like to put into my real world review. So what I really want to ask you guys is do you have any questions that you would like to know beforehand? So, you know, put them down in the bar so that you can ask if there's something in particular that you really want to know about this phone that I can definitely answer for you answer for you over the next couple days because I'm going to be putting this thing through its paces to a great extent so you can definitely see what it's like to use this phone in the real world and if it's going to be able to suit your needs especially because I know that it's lacking in some things but it's absolutely wonderful in other things so I'm going to say so far that this is a really nice phone I really do like this phone you guys it is a pretty solid option uh, this is AT&T's first ice cream sandwich phone and I can say that it's actually pretty lightly skinned. It's not too bad with the HTC Sense. And I actually really do like some of the stuff that it offers. So I will definitely get into that. But as far as the screen, I definitely want to say that if you guys are trying to make a decision between Super AMOLED, such as the Galaxy Note, or maybe the S3, because the S3 is only going to have the pen tile display arrangement, which actually makes me really, really mad. I would really have liked to have the Super AMOLED HD Plus. That would have been fantastic because, well, right now, Super AMOLED HD has some issues with black during video. And I do trust that the Galaxy S3 will fix that to a great extent. But what I can say is that Super LCD is where it is, you guys. Some of you will probably refuse to go back to LCD after seeing the awesome capabilities, especially the deep blacks of the Super AMOLED displays. But this is actually a really, really nice display. The colors are absolutely true, vivid, they pop, and it, you just, it looks like it's actually raised to the very top of the screen because there's not much room between the glass and the actual LCD screen itself. So it looks just so super pretty. And I actually, when I put it up, I will definitely do this for you guys, do this for you guys as well, is I'll put the Galaxy Note and this guy together and show you the differences in video. I can say that this has truer colors and I really would prefer to watch video on this guy, even though the Galaxy Note is bigger. I do really love that phone, seriously, and it's been hard for me because the screen is so big. But this kind of makes it easy because it's so easy on the eyes. So other things that people have been worrying about is that this phone is very limited in memory. So... <laughs> Yeah, thanks a lot, uh, HTC and AT&T, especially because you know how the network is these days. You get a limited, wonderful 3G, 3G, 3 gigabytes of data, and a lot of people will go through that pretty quickly. So in order to make up for the memory, it's been interesting because there is Dropbox. You do get a nice 25 gigabytes of Dropbox. And you also can put all your mu music on Google Music that doesn't fit on the phone, but then you're constantly streaming and using data, so that can actually be a little bit of a problem. So we'll definitely get into that. I'm going to be putting it through its paces and doing heavy, heavy, heavy use of data and seeing where I get to, because I usually don't go over a gigabyte, surprisingly, with as much as I do. So let, let's see what happens if I actually have to stream everything all the time. Um, I'm going to be taking it with me to Disneyland tomorrow, so you guys get to go to Disneyland with me. Are there any Disney nerds out there? Are there any guys who are really Disney nerds? I mean, you know, maybe that's just a girl thing, but I know some of you guys who are awesome are Disney nerds, and it just has a hint for me to you. It's an actually really good present for your girlfriends if you give them a year-long pass and you guys can go together all the time. So, you know, that, that's just a, just a little hint there that was probably one of the best presents I'd ever gotten. So anyway, totally getting off topic, but I'm going to take this down to Disneyland and Anaheim has absolutely awesome network connection down there. It's full 4G and it's extremely, extremely fast. So I'm definitely going to be checking out the 4G capabilities of this phone down there. This is supposed to be extremely fast 4G and I'm extremely excited to go and test that. Um, also, it's a very congested network down there at Disneyland. Not when you're outside the park, but when you're in the park because there's just so many people at one time. So we'll see how that really drains the battery on this guy. That will be a true testament of how this guy works. So one of the things that I can definitely say about the antenna is that you can't take it off 4G by itself. There is no way like the Rogers Canadian territory phone, you know, way out yonder. They actually have a version where you can go under the settings and you can change it to favor between HSPA plus or HSPA 
and then 4G. But you can't do that on this phone. at and I don't know what their, their deal is exactly with that. I do know that the processor does work hand in hand with the 4G, so maybe that has something to do with it. But I know that on their, all their 4G phones, you haven't been able to favor which frequency you want to be on. But what I can say is that I've been a clever chickadee, and I've noticed that you can actually go under the APN settings and just have it go on to the HSPA Plus network and not on 4G. So I'll definitely see if that makes a difference in battery life. I, I doubt it. I doubt it's really going to make that much of a difference. Um, so we'll definitely check that out as well. Now, as far as this guy and the quad-core version, I have a lot of questions myself. I was really not too optimistic when I found this guy wasn't going to have the quad-core, but I figured it wouldn't because I've seen that happen uh, because it doesn't do well with the 4G. For whatever reason, it just drains the battery so incredibly fast that it's not worth it. So... Uh, We'll definitely do a lot of emulator tests. A lot of reviewers will use things like Benchmark and Antutu, and that's all great and fine and stuff, but what does that really say about day-to-day -day use with this phone? It doesn't say anything! So I will definitely be using n 64 oid and testing that out. The one thing that I can say is that quad-core processors, when using emulators, have like no frame rate skips at all. I, would, I was using that on the Transformer Prime, and there's it just plays completely smooth as better. So we'll see the difference between, really, with the emulators between the quad-core and the S4 processor on this guy here. And uh, I suspect that it's going to be dropping some frame rates. And I've already seen that a little bit myself, but it's actually very playable. So we'll definitely get into that, and I'll show you guys a couple different comparisons. Um, so at least you guys can see a real benchmark, and not just Antutu Quadrant or all those other things that really don't say anything about real life. We'll definitely test out the camera. So I'm very excited to be able to use this at Disneyland because, you know, it's such a national landmark monument, whatever you want to call it. Everybody knows what Disneyland is and, and it looks like. So at least when I'm taking pictures, you'll be able to tell if it looks like Disneyland or even in video, how well that quality really meshes with your visual mental image of Disneyland yourself. So that is definitely something that I want to get into. I really like the front facing camera and I really do like a lot of the features. This phone has just been a lot of fun. So one of the other things that I really like is the HTC Watch. It's uh, like, a, like a Google videos or Google movies or whatever the heck that Google calls it and uh, lets you actually rent videos for, for comparable price, but I really like their five cent deals. I've downloaded uh, the second Transformers and I've also downloaded Contagion. And what's really cool is that you can output them to the TV, you guys. It's really neat. Um, I know that they've been upping the security on these guys and as soon as you root it, we'll see what happens when I root it. You actually can root this phone and I'll get into that in a second, but when you root it, I wonder if you'll still be able to output it to the TV. You do, you do need an MH, MXL adapter or MHL. It's one of those. You do need an adapter because there is no HDMI output on this guy. But it works really nice and looks really, really nice on the TV. So it, you can definitely rent movies for five cents and put them out to your TV and it looks great. I know that the bootloader is, is locked right now, but just note that you can actually um, root the phone at this current moment on both Mac and PC. So thanks to XDA developers, I'll probably put a link down for you guys to see that. But um, I just lost my point. So whew, this phone, it has lots of features and I've been talking for a while now. Beats audio has been fantastic. I really like listening to that in the apps. So we will get into this even further in the full real world review before I just say too much. So this is where it's at as far as the screen, you guys. Definitely make sure to leave me some suggestions if you have any questions about anything. The glass, the screen, the network, the speed, anything that you can possibly think of because this guy is definitely cool. And just to say for a heads up, just way you guys, if you're worried about battery life, PowerSkin is actually going to be releasing one of those battery cases that you've seen for the iPhone. You can stick it in and it charges it, so it makes sure to charge the phone first, and then if it's plugged in, it will fill up the battery 
afterwards. So that's pretty cool. So this is very thin and that doesn't bother me if I do have a thick battery case on it because look at this. It's like, it's like razor. We'll definitely get into that as well. Okay, I don't want to reveal too much, but definitely you guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to rate and comment and subscribe and follow me on Twitter now, actually. If you go to I am Erica, which is I am underscore Erica, I do put a lot of updates and just random craziness on there for, for fun. So definitely thank you guys for watching and I will be back with you guys with a full rear wall review on the HTC One X.